<laughs> is this thing on? Oh, it's on and popping, babe. All right. You already know what time it is, though. This is What's Cooking with Fanny Boo. I'm the boy Chef C. This is Chef Chef Fanny. And the place to be, we are you already know you. We always gotta give a special shout out to everybody who's been tuning in, watching, liking, commenting, interacting. We appreciate you guys off top. We always gotta start the show off with our special moment of gratitude. Absolutely. To let you guys know how much we definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, so you know, first off, you know, how you doing today, though? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing about as good as you are looking. Ah, I like your outfit, though. You <laughs> oh, looking thank good, you, thank though. You, you shining. Like you, like you, you shining, though. Like though. You shining. No cheers to that, though. Cheers uh, are looking good and feeling good, though. Cheers to y'all, You know too. what I mean? We could do that. Cheers, though. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we definitely got a great episode for you guys today. This is episode... 13. 13. So, you know, we appreciate you guys for sticking along the journey. We only getting better as we go. And uh, we promise to uh, keep delivering for you guys and to just keep interacting. Keep yeah, letting yeah. us know. Give us the feedback. Drop in the comments what you guys think. And uh, we'll, we'll promise to yeah. incorporate it or deliver it. So, right. um, jumping right in, right? Just kind of give you guys a quick agenda. We have our burning question. Yeah. Right? As you know, ain't nothing burning around here. But, <laughs> but the question, kitchen. right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, shout out to uh. that. Um, so, and then on top of that, right after that, we're going to roll right into the Next Level Chef recap. And then we're going to follow that up with some Black History Facts. And then roll right into our... World famous game of Would, Would you, you rather? rather? So, cheers to that. Shout out to that. Um, jumping right into our burning question, right? It's a really good question. I think it's 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 validated. I think it's it's very um, important, especially within society today. So, right. burning question: What is the difference between Cajun and Creole? That is a good question. Woo! Shout Ooh, out to good a, questions, yeah, though. I question. appreciate that, yeah, though. I yeah. appreciate that's that. That's a great question, actually. I take that back. It's not a good question. That's a great question. I appreciate that. Um, so there are a couple of differences between Cajun and Creole, right? There's, okay, speak on uh, it. Speak so on it. there's ethnic differences, right? And okay. then there are also, you know, as far as the Cajun and Creole cuisines, there are differences also. Ah. So, um, so Cajuns are ethnically white. Right? Okay. Um, okay. You know, I didn't know that. Don't get yeah, that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then Creoles are either black or uh, mixed race black, and and there's a whole variety, it's right? Really like, yeah. So, black and French, black and um, black, black or Haitian. There's Haitian, Haitian Creoles. Creole. There's a Caribbean Creoles. There's all kinds of Portuguese Creoles. Creoles. Yeah. There's there's a whole plethora right a variety Absolutely. um so as far as ethnically goes um ethnicity goes that's you know that that's the difference but Absolutely. when it comes to food the main um the main part uh, the main difference is that um creole food uses tomato and tomato base in okay. their food and cajuns is not okay um so cajun um Cajun people are the like rural country areas okay. of southern Louisiana, right? Okay. And then Creole is just um, pretty much all over Louisiana, yeah, but but yeah. Um, but yeah, so just more more city, more city okay. food, right? So okay. um, so there are some differences. They have a lot of the same dishes because they are based in a lot of the same you know roots as far as like okay. West Africa, French. Okay. Um, Portuguese, as mentioned before, Spanish, right? Yes, yeah, Spanish. Right. So, okay. um, but also, you know, part of the differences will be like in the areas that uh, that they do have their agriculture. Certain things don't grow the same. So, okay. Okay. one of the major differences was like for the Cajun um, is very heavy rice, right? right. Because okay. rice grows there, not wheat. So that was like a huge change in in that cultural that cuisine type, right? Right. Um, so you'll see a difference um, in like gumbo, right? So gumbo. Okay. Creole gumbo has a roux, and that's more so the base, where a Cajun gumbo, I mean, I'm sorry, Creole gumbo has a tomato base, okay. and Cajun gumbo has a roux base. I'm glad you touched on that, because I was going to ask you, you touched on the tomato base being in the in the Creole cuisine, right? Yeah, so I was going to yeah. ask you if you had any specific examples of that, because, you know, typically when you go to maybe a Southern cuisine uh, restaurant, or you go right, to... Right. 
maybe a Louisiana style restaurant. They'll they'll have Cajun items on the menu. They'll yeah. have Creole items on the menu. So if you don't know the difference, you say, hey, maybe this day the Creole yeah, you think tomato it's all the base. Same. Yeah. The Cajun was the black end, the other the, yeah. the seasoning yeah. seasoning yeah. blend. So. Um, so, uh, is there any other examples? So is that the, the gumbo? What other examples? So like jambalaya is another oh, so, okay, one, right? Okay. Um, so it's served differently. One is mixed together, right? Okay. With more of the tomato. That's going to be the Creole style. And then okay. the, um, Cajun is going to be separate. It can also come on pasta instead. So Got you. So you said that, that yeah. you said the, the Cajun had the, um, their heavier rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I saw somewhere that they, um. Not somewhere. I saw, you know, online when I'm doing my yeah, research. Yeah. <laughs> that, hey, uh, that. that um that the Cajuns um they hail from more of like the northeastern region of um the United States. Yeah, and, and Canada. Canada yeah. Right. And when they and, and, then, and, and prior to that, France. France, yeah. right. And so and then when moving to the, the Louisiana area they had to adapt. Yeah, so they so they did so by growing rice, yeah, right? So yeah. so that's that is yeah, becoming that's one of the primary um, ingredients in their, yep. in their, in their that, uh, that is cuisine. On. Okay, spot on. Spot okay. research. Okay, okay. shout out to that. I appreciate he, that. He, he looked the part in, and, 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 and he got some brands to match. Shout out to it, though. You know, I appreciate the compliments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so but um, but you also see like in the cuisine, just real quick, you'll see a lot of crossover too. So okay. there, there is like you know, it's because it's it is kind of a blurred line. They do mm -hmm. have a lot of differences, but there are a lot of similarities. So sometimes you'll see crossover. Um, I actually make gumbo with the roux and tomatoes. Okay. Um, so that you know, it's not a tomato base. But I do use a roux base. But you I kind of got the Creole like look, that. though. Are you Creole? <laughs> What's the deal, though? And not not as far as I know. I gotta I gotta go ahead and uh, <laughs> What's the deal, <laughs> though? Drop in the comments <laughs> if she look Creole. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm just playing. I kid, I kid. <laughs> Hardy hard. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to roll right into our next level chef recap. Uh, what was this? Episode what? Episode four. Four. Episode oh, four, man, yeah. it, was a, it was a sizzling episode. Yeah, yeah, that was say, good. Right? It was so, so good. Um, kick us off with the next level <laughs> chef recap, <laughs> Chef Fanny. All right, all right. So um, last week on Next Level Chef, uh, they had um, the draft day. And so it's the first episode that wasn't an audition mm -hmm. and where everybody was mixed in together, the, the home the home cooks, the pro chefs and the social media chefs mm -hmm. and uh, Gordon Ramsay, Richard Blaze and, and uh, Naisha Arrington mm -hmm. all picked their teams. So, you know, they traded off, you know, a couple. It got a little heated for a moment, you know, a little. It looks little... much better, though. They came yeah. in there with the white coats, though. Yeah, they yeah, more yeah. professional, though. So they, yeah, they, so they, they got to pick their aprons, right? Because absolutely. Because the aprons, team colors and stuff, right? Absolutely. So, um, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, who had the first one? Team Blaze. Blaze had the first pick, right? Because he's the only one who hasn't produced a winner yet. Yeah, so they gave him the first pick. Yeah, they gave him the yeah, first pick. Yeah, because um, well, Chef Gordon won it last year. Chef Ramsey, yeah, he, yeah. He, he won it last year, and then... Uh, and Aisha won it Aisha the first won time, yeah. the year before. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they tried to spice up the, yeah, uh, the yeah. picks early, yeah. right? So they tried to make it a little, little bit more interactive, right, where... You know, my mask has stole buddy from uh, yeah, from yeah. Naisha, right? Jordan, what was yeah, that? Jordan, yeah, Jordan, Jordan, yeah. That's funny though, because they they did that. The mask made the comment like, "Man, you was trading for him like he was Mike Jordan." Well, yeah, he yeah. Back to back Man, the, pitch. The commentary, the, the 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 commentary between the the judges on this episode was hilarious. Yeah, you know, like yeah, from, it definitely from that was. to the to even the judging of the, the meals, like it was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely was solid. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so they, they picked their teams, um, and then their challenge was to make an all American smash burger, right? What's that so for, the, for the first round, though? So, no, before you even go down that, right? You, you going too fast, all right, slow down. Mean, we, we it. All right, Skirt. all right, I'm all saying, right. slow down. I need that all added right. to the sound effect because. You didn't even talk about how the picks went. Though. Okay, okay, so drive. That, it was the okay. drive episode. All right, all right, all right. So, so you going so Richard, to the, you going to the cook off? It's still <laughs> the drive, though. All right, because the, 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 the food all is right, what it's about. Go. Okay, so 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 Richard picked Zach. That was his first pick. I thought that was a weak pick. I think they're stronger chefs on the show, but he showed some favoritism and likeness to him. You know, early right. Now which one was Zach? Zach was the one with the locks. Oh, from, the locks uh, from Hawaii. Facts. Okay. Right with the farm to table. I think he'll I do him. well in the competition because of his. You that know, was his a experience. shocker yeah. first pick, though. Yeah, sure. yeah, and then uh, Naish came right after with Vaughn, who I think should have been the first pick. That's 
I thought either Vaughn or Zay should have been the first. Vaughn is a heavy. Vaughn was a heavy favorite, especially yeah. after professional cook uh, round. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Out of that, yeah, that, that heat, yeah. right? Yeah, man, he definitely. Uh, you you can see him though. Well, and we'll get into yeah, more what yeah. happened though, in, the, in, the, in the kitchen though, because right. that was incredible though. Yeah, I was, yeah, I no, yeah. That, amazing. Yeah, though. yeah. But um, <laughs> and then um, and then and then and then Gordon Ramsay went. He got two picks and he went back. third. Yeah, so he picked uh Chris and Gabby. Oh, Mads from the OC food truck. Yeah, yeah, okay. Chris, Chris from OC, and then Gabby is uh, from Brooklyn. Okay, from Brooklyn. Brooklyn with, no. She's a she's a home chef. Okay, a home cook, right? Okay, shout out, shout out to OC, shout out <laughs> yeah, to Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. No, you feel me though? Yeah, and then um, and then right after that, when did the when did Zay get yeah, scooped? Zay didn't get scooped till like eleven. Okay, okay. He didn't get picked till yeah. He was number. He 11. did go late though. Yeah, he, and, he, it was a surprise. He went late. Yeah, and, else, well, you know what's surprising is that uh, Gordon Ramsay was so like, nah, I'm gonna take Jordan from from Naisha, but he was the eighth pick. Jordan? Yeah, Jordan was oh, the yeah, eighth pick. Yeah, so he was he, he would have been third on anybody's team though. So it's like And that's why it was like ah was it yeah, scripted? Like, yeah, was like, they, 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 they should have they should have fought over the first pick. Like yeah, I would say or, so. or top three. Like like top three I think should have been like, No no no, I need them. But yeah, by the time it, you get to A you didn't have a couple chances and I thought it was weak that Jordan went with, with Gordon Ramsay. Like I get the whole full circle moment of he, you know, he made viral. his video he go viral. viral. Yeah, with the fingerprints burn off and stuff. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay had remixed it. That's what made him pop, right? And so, oh, if he wasn't if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't be there. But at the end of the day, Naisha picked you first. If Gordon Ramsay wanted you that bad, he would have picked you first, second, or third. You wouldn't have been the the, the one of the mid ones on his team, though. He but wouldn't I mean, have had to just, steal you from somebody else if he really wanted you. He's just showing his true character, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, though. yeah. So, so because because far because as far as we remember, he did have back to back picks. Though, yeah, he? he did. He so. Hey, hey. So hey, hey, again, right? Hey, hey, man. Drop in the comments what you think mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. Jordan switching up, yep, right? Yep. If you watch, if you tuned into Next Level Chef last yeah. Thursday. Uh, again on Fox though, so channel, yeah. uh, at seven PM CST. Yeah. It's not an ad. Yeah, yeah, not an ad. But <laughs> if y'all want to keep up, so y'all can watch it and then, and then you know, and yeah, drop in the comments what y'all think, right? Absolutely. So then, um, I'm just real quick. Just the bottom three or the last three that were picked was Wendy. I thought she was weak. I didn't even think she should have made it this far. Okay. Personally, um, Mada. Um, the the fitness meal prep guy, right? Big homie, yeah, 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 the buff one though. Mm, and then mm. um, and then Matt, Matt was a social media chef, right? Mm. Social media. And so, um, the the three of them were the bottom three. I thought Matt would have got picked a little bit earlier. I don't even honestly remember Nicole. <laughs> um, from from I don't remember where 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 she came from, but uh, or she just wasn't. Didn't really leave I thought we touched on her before. That yeah, because I, mean, we I had think to. she had good organization. No, I that was um. Make it. That was Lauren. Lauren. Lauren off the off the private. I think jet. Nicole did something though. I think she. She did, did something. something. I just I just can't remember. Like not not the two. Yeah, that's yeah. in the right home. Yeah, though, yeah. So, shout out to that though. Yeah, <laughs> and then um and then Mada, I think um. I don't know. It's like it's it works in his favor that he's so used to cooking like you know lean and and healthy yeah. because you'll be able to he'll take things that people aren't gonna naturally gravitate towards. A lot of times they gravitate towards like. The fattier meats, right? Um, like, oh, this is a great cut. He's like, oh, burger, I'll take the turkey. Like, like, that's yeah, right, right up, you know, that's in his right. wheelhouse, right? So, yeah. I think that'll kind of just help him to just the options that he would go for. He'll have available on any level, I right. think, right? Right. And then, um, and then Wendy, I just think she's just a little bit one note as far as what she puts out because she's always sticking with her roots. I, we still haven't seen her jump out of her comforts. Even on this episode, it was a smash burger. She still put an Asian twist on it. So, so, so okay. So the first, so slow down a little right, bit. Right. Like, why do you, you just it's too calm though? You know what I mean? Relax, slow down, all right? right? right. So let the people follow, right? So slowing it down. So, <laughs> so okay. So that was the picks, right? Yeah, so then, yeah. okay. So now, okay. So now the challenge, the first challenge was for them to create a smash burger, yeah. right? Yeah. So they got so far. They finally got separated. Yeah. Um. Gordon Ramsay, since he won last year, was yeah. up on the top. Yeah. Right. And then who was on the middle? Naisha's Naisha. Naisha. Then who was on the bottom? Oh, Blaze. Blaze. He's always right. in the basement. He's in the basement, <laughs> right? So he got his team is probably the weakest overall. Yeah. Like, if you had yeah. to say off top. Yeah. Based off of some of those picks. Well, right. On all of the picks, if you ask me. And I, I mean, I think, yeah. I, I think, I think his whole team is mid. Just based off of well. everybody else, yeah. his team is kind of mid. You yeah. gotta let the, the even, whole team. Even let off the clip for the whole team. <laughs> you know. 
But and to be honest, I think Naisha's team is stronger than Gordon Ramsay's. I mean, they they both. It they, depends they, they, on the day, I believe. They have because, good teams. Because you know, um, because she has Vaughn and Christina. But my man's got Zay, and uh, they didn't even and really want to highlight Zay, but he got yeah. off. Though a couple of them got off. Though yeah, Jordan yeah, overrated. Chris. You don't. Chris and but Chris, Chris Jordan's, o- Jordan's overrated, but they seem to favor him for whatever yeah. reason. They just like love that guy. But so. Gabby. Gabby, Gabby slept on. She's cool. Gabby, She's Chris, and Zay are gonna carry that team, but Chris got to get his act right though. Yeah, he almost he, he was, fumbled the bag today. Yeah, on the, on the nerves. Yeah, I think he was just nervous like, though. But yeah. when he nervous though, he kept talking like, "Oh, just like on the food truck." Yeah, he was, but he was working but that meat for like fifteen, but, but, but but twenty maybe, minutes. Maybe that that was his problem though. He's he's thinking too like, "Oh, it's just like this," but it's not. Yeah, it's it's like yeah, you've done this a million times, but not in this kind of kitchen, right? right? Hey, so, Chris, you better wake up, buddy. Yeah, because yeah. real talk, man. Hey. They're not going to keep letting yeah. you slide, though. Yeah, man. He, yeah. Man, he, he was working that and the, for and like the, 15 out of 25. And, oh, the, uh, still at the and the expectation's high because he's the one who, whose First dad is Michelin, is Michelin star. Well, you chef. can't really. That don't really mean but, that. But, nothing, they, but, but they were saying that he, he, so he his, was His expectation was high because Gordon Ramsay picked him first. Mm. So he pulled him off the board first. Yep. Bam. Yep. That's what Gordon Ramsay said. So he didn't deliver in the first round. Yeah. He sent him straight to elimination. Straight, yeah. straight, straight to the chopping to block. Though, though, yeah. those, uh, no questions, though. First yeah. pick, you got to go. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? And But the, what really happened was um, the Good. one girl made the raw oyster. Yeah. I mean, the raw ostrich. Ari, and she had the fire. Ari. Yeah. She, she, had, she had the fire so, before she even started cooking. Yeah, though. so, you know, Ari, you know, she was saved by the bell while she was on the team. That ended up, um, uh, Vaughn yeah, put out Vaughn the best burger, the so best one. Yeah. that team was Safe. saved yeah. from um, from elimination, right? So right. Ari, who put out the raw oyster, ostrich, yeah, yeah, um, it was raw was on the inside, burnt on the outside. And though. usually, you know that anything instant, you put yeah. out raw is automatically because it's inedible. It's yeah. inedible, so they can't, can't even judge can't, it. Can't, so can't it's taste done. it. So you it's gotta done. go. Yeah. So she, she was yeah. saved by the boy Vaughn. Yeah. So she off. I ain't going to say what she owed the boy Vaughn. No, yeah, but, yeah but she old buddy, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? I'm going to keep it PG. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, hilarious. But anywho, what else stood out, though? I mean, there um, were some pretty good little burgers that came yeah. out. I think Gabby went smart. She picked the lamb, and then she had the feta to go with right, it, right? So right. I think that's... You know, look real healthy. Yeah, like healthy, but that's just perfect flavor profile, right? right? Because right. the the lamb. So when I hear lamb, I think Greek. So when you say perfect, is that safe? It could be. It could be. But she also was really good with pairing the flavors on the audition episode okay. too. Okay. So I, that was something something to look out for. And what her. you saw when they ended up passing out the uh, the the immune what the uh, what's the it called? immunity badge the immunity badge yeah um they 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 were judging based off execution how you yep. were able to pivot yeah yep. what was your uh. Uh, ingredient selection, so right. there was a more well-rounded judgment, I think, on yeah. this season than, than it but was last season. I so. think I still think Gordon Ramsay just gave his to his favorite because so Gordon Gordon gave his to Jordan, Naisha gave hers to Christina, and then Richard gave his to Zach. Right. So, and I think the only reason that Naisha gave hers to Christina, I don't think Christina's her favorite. I think yeah. that's her second. I think Vaughn's her favorite, yeah. but he's sweet, so he she he doesn't need to it. Save him, yeah, he he, he won't ever need it. But Christina is one of those like. She's good, she might be but risk. you but 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 you just you want her to have it just in case she has a bad day, because she's good and you want to see her make so it. So is she mid? She's not mid, but I just think like Vaughn is like he's less a, likely a to have a thing, bad day. Right? Yeah, so he's yeah. confident, man. When he got in there, he had the burger right. And then the flames start going up over the burger. Maz was smashing yeah. that burger down through the, the flame. The fire was like elbow the fl- deep. The, fl- <laughs> the flame was all up here. Maz was smashing that burger down. He put the fire out with the flame. And it was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Burger's yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. Burger's fire. Then put the burger on the bun. I was like, yo. <laughs> Maz is fire. Maz is nice. Yeah, would you say Ma- he, put, he put the fire out with his hands? Yeah, that, like, or what? It was something though know, that he was smashing that burger down with his arm. The flame yeah. was all the way up to his arm, Man, paws or whatever. Crazy. Though this looked crazy, but um, you yeah, know that he was had crazy. that was man. Then what he then what he put like a double triple patty out there? Oh, uh, was he, his the triple? His was with the egg. No, oh, I think no. Zay, Zay had the triple. Zay did come Zay with the came triple. With the tri- like, like a double, double and a triple double, and, and something. Like, oh, it, 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 was, it was stacked. Though. And then he it hit it out the though. park. Though. He was the only one. For as much as everybody made two or three 
patties except for except for I think Christina, right? Somebody only made one. Christina only made one. She yeah. put it all in one. Yeah, everybody else made like two or three just yeah. so they could pick the best one. But he was the only one who actually used two on his burger. Right. And where Vaughn hit it out the park was with that, with uh, that no, with that tempura. Though. Oh, on the green beans. Yeah, yeah, so mid-round mid drop. You got to shout out my man. Yeah, yeah. Mid-round drop was the fried veggie. Right. The fried veggie, and I think that was... They did. They all did a really good job, I think, of picking a vegetable that paired well with their burger. And I think they presented profile. good options on all levels. Though, yeah, because it was the carrots surprised me. It did, but he just what he shaved them he into like some shaved chips him. and then yeah. just dropped them in the thing. Yeah, same with the they did the parsley. Almost the like same some way. little sweet potato for our yeah, sweet yeah, potato yeah, chips crisps, or something. Little, yeah, pretty they look like the plantain chips. Oh, that would have been a good drop. For fried, for oh fried yeah, sucker. somebody could have went crazy with mm -hmm. those. No, but somebody went crazy with the zucchinis. I didn't see right. Matt, Matt had the zucchini. Okay, okay. Uh, who had the pickles was uh, Zay. Zay had the pickles, I believe. Yep. Okay. Had the wagyu with the, with the fried pickles. Right? Yeah. So Chris, so so they they all went through their first round, yeah. right? Chris um, salted his twice. Yeah, Chris over salted his yeah. burger. It started falling apart. Yeah. What did he have? What kind of meat did he, he have? He had the brisket. Right. He, he had, had the brisket. brisket. He, he, he was mixing it. He overworked it. He, he was me, but he, he had 25 for like, minutes yeah. and he put 15 minutes in the mix. Yeah, he's the whole and, episode. And he just kept salting it and mixing it. And Gordon Ramsay kept saying, hey, don't over salt it, don't over salt yeah, it. Don't, over -sauce yeah, it. don't put no more salt on there. He puts it on the thing. Salt, like, come so on, So then man. he tried to smash it. Boom, it split up. Boom, yeah. he tried to get it on the thing. They said it was hard was, on the eyes. I didn't, I didn't see anybody use a binder in their burger. There may, possibly a couple <laughs> people did. They and them must have put user and them people with that veal and them nice turkey burgers. They had the binder. Everybody yeah. had a nice burger. But, but the, the, the plant based one fell apart, no binder. Chris, yeah. what? Had, had well, hold on, hold on, hold on, because let me let's keep it organized, right? right so right. we can just keep it keep it through because we're just trying to like summarize it for people who haven't seen it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's just um, a lot. It's just there's so it's much. It's really going not on. though. You just keep it in order, right? Because it's like, bam, we went through the draft, right? Then we went through what the first the first round of uh the first contest was, right? Yeah. The competition. And then we said what what people made and who stood out. Yeah. And then the boy Chris, his his burger fell apart. Boom, right. he got sent to elimination. Right. The boy Matt made a bad choice yeah. off the platform with yeah. the raspberries. With the salmon, the raspberries, the harissa. Yeah, so his right. salmon patty fell apart. He couldn't yeah. get it going. Boom, they sent him to elimination, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, boom, so they battled it off on some on a little taco challenge, right? Yeah, so that's yeah. how you fish, just, just, just fish So now we're at the taco challenge, right. though. So t take us there. Take us there. Talk to us All about right, the taco so challenge. Fish, fish tacos was the challenge for the elimination round. Chris went there because his burger was like a cheese chop because it was just falling apart and it was too salty and then matt was there because he had the raspberries just didn't go with the salmon which is crazy because there's pineapple sitting right there on that platform and he could have just grabbed the pineapple and he would have been safe but he didn't so they end up there they both are like okay we're gonna make the we're gonna make our own tortillas yeah both of them wanted to make their own tortillas both their tortillas Which is were, risky. were yeah Super it, risky. they always say like if you if you make the you make your own tortillas and they do well then it's like home run but nine times out of ten when they want to make their own tortillas yeah. it, it, the simplest is a three ingredient Thing. Well, we saw but, our season yeah. one, though. You know, it'd yeah, be, yeah. it's not really enough time to really whip them, no tortillas. Yeah, yeah, so if just, they got yeah. a pack of tortillas sitting on that platform, you better just yeah. like, little put a little oil in the pan, so sizzle them up real right, quick, though, right, and put, right. put them on the hot plate. So, so, so Matt started, his were coming out too thick, right? And so he was like, all right, I'm going to get the store bought. And that's the thing. He was, he was more decisive. Yeah. Um, uh, Chris, he was in decisive. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make them. I don't know if I, yeah. if, I, if, I if I if I'm gonna use the one. Because Naisha had to tell him she was like, "Don't save it for the end." Don't save it but, yeah, for don't the wait, end. Don't wait. So the boy Matt, he got to it quick. Boom! Yep. This ain't gonna work. Abort mission. Yeah. Pivot. Went and grabbed all the three. Yeah, took all of them though. Off the thing. So though. then, so then when Chris is just started falling apart, right? So yeah, that, his, that, his, that was Matt. low key. That was low key fire by Matt, but it backfired on him. On yeah, the yeah, it did. It did because the first thing they said when they picked it up, are oh, these home, these aren't these are store bought, store bought tortillas. Was, so yeah, yeah. He, but, he, before he even picked it up, he said, "Are oh, these these are, these don't look freshly freshly made tortillas?" But so yeah, so Chris's were falling apart. He had the red corn, they and they were sweet. wet. But yeah, well, they were wet because he put too much sauce because he was trying to just. So they tortillas, were wet. The tortillas were falling apart. You can't have no wet tortilla. Yeah, he, he had yeah. them laid flat on the little on a little charcuterie board. The little yeah, charcuterie yeah. So they had, the, they had the board, and then they had the. 
the taco stand to go on there, right? To the holder. He couldn't even put his tacos on there because he was like, they're going to fall apart. Yeah. And the whole time, I'm like, well, if they'll fall apart on there, they're going to fall apart when they pick them up. Then it won't eat like a taco. And that's like, exactly what happened. Yeah. They scooped them up. It fell apart. It was right. wet. But they said the flavor was yeah. amazing. His, his flavor... His flavor and the the lack of attention to detail on Matt's part is what yeah. saved Chris though. Because yeah, because Matt had the big. The yeah, big, yeah, he big, didn't he didn't cut him small enough, he had right? Big ass pieces of yeah, cod. Yeah, they said it was too yeah, big, too clumpy. Um, though. and then he he thought it was red cabbage, but it was ridiculous. So he put way too much, and yeah. then it ended up with that bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Like if you do nothing to the ridiculous, it's gonna be bitter. Like, yeah. So if he didn't know the ingredients yeah. that he was grabbing, he was just pulling stuff. I don't know what he was doing though. He was in yeah. there playing. Uh, uh, Pikachu, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> then that's what he get, though. That's what his ass get, though. So. <laughs> so, cool, cool. Anything else? Oh, no, so, um, oh, no we got to say who got sent home. So, they battled it out. They sent Matt home, right? Yeah. He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. Social media itself said he only been doing it 18 months. Yeah. Salute I to think Matt. Less, I think he said eight months. I thought he said 18. Did he say 18? I, I heard, I heard, yeah, okay, yeah. But either salute way, to Matt sure, either yeah. way. Salute to Matt either way. Um, your stay on next level chef or short live. At least you made it to the white coat, but salute to you, but you had yeah. to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, no shade to anyone. Uh, uh, and that's cool, though. We look forward to uh, next week's, um, yeah. or, or this, uh, week's, this week's, this week's, yeah, this week's, this week's, week's yeah. level. I mean, this week's uh, episode, episode of Next Level Chef, yeah. right, coming up this Thursday at uh, 7 p.m. CST, though. Tune right, in with right. us, though. On so we, Fox. So you guys could, could, could leave in the comments who y'all think yeah, will win, yeah. et cetera. Though. So if y'all watched it, let us know. Do you think the right decision was made? Do you think the right person went home? How do you think next week's going to go? Like, what, Let us know. Let us know what you think, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, um, right. So after that, right, rolling right into some black history facts, though. Um, you know, on this day, right, February 19th in 1942, the, uh, the the Tuskegee Airmen were actually inducted into the U.S. Armed Forces, oh. right? And the Tuskegee Airmen were actually the first African-American pilots to fight in World War II. I didn't know that. You know, so there was a movie called um, called Tuske the, the Tuskegee Airmen with, um, okay. with Lawrence Fishburne, Larry Fishburne from back in the day that mm. I, I saw him growing up as a, as a young mustache or a young goatee, <laughs> so to speak, right? Goat. So, yeah, goats, <laughs> you know, so... Um, shout out to the Tuskegee Airmen. Yeah. I appreciate your service, you know, and uh, you know the, the ones that's living and all the other ones that's in peace, right? You right. know, because we we definitely we definitely got to speak on it though. If absolutely, it happened, absolutely. Though. So, yeah. Um, also, um, on this day in uh, Black History, uh, rest in peace to the boy John Singleton. Absolutely. Right. He actually became the first African American director to be nominated for an Academy Award for um, Best What? Best best Director and Best Screenplay for mm. Boys in the Hood, though. Oh, shout that yeah, out, though. Yeah. Um, shout to Boys in the Hood, though. Yeah. You know, this is growing up in L.A., right? right it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a classic. Cla absolute classic. Um, you know, the, the shout, to shoot, shout out to Cube, right? right shout out right. to um, Cuba. Yeah. Right? <laughs> shout out to um, Larry, hey, Larry Fishburne Lawrence, again. Yeah, yeah, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. Shout out to everybody who played in that. Uh, Young Neil Long, right? Got everybody <laughs> in that, though. Yeah, so, it, was, it was heavy. So, uh, rest in peace to John Singleton, right? Remember when yeah. we, we had stepped down, seeing him on the, uh, yeah. on the red carpet, though, for the... Uh, for, uh, for the premier uh, snowfall, snowfall yeah, yeah you premier, know what I mean. Very so first one. it was yep. cool to shake his hand right and, and be able to mingle with him, though. Right, then, very and, down to earth. And, very right, right, very yeah. humble guy. Right, he was real cool. I yeah. told, I actually told him, look, man, I'm gonna work with you one day, man. Yeah, and, and then, then you did. I did. I popped up and on the set did, of Snowfall though, yeah. as a, as yeah. a, as, a, as a background. Shout out, shout out to that. Check me out on Snowfall though. In the background, I was tearing the hell out that furniture. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace, John Singleton. And uh, we got some birthdays, you know, February nineteenth. Though, uh, what's the, what? What? What is that? A, uh, Michael Jordan. Is that a Capricorn or something? What are you doing? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that familiar. Oh, okay. I don't know. The, you see, get into the to the to the I, know, I think it's, I think it I may think be Capricorn's a Capricorn. Beginning my it is because I think the twentieth is the first day of uh, yeah, Pisces. Pisces. Yeah, Pisces. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So good for popping off, right? Happy birthday to the boy Smokey Robinson, right? You know, shout Today. out to shout out to Smokey Robinson. Yep. Uh, definitely a, a a great contributor to the to the musical world, right? An artist, yeah. songwriter, you know, all of the above. A, a music extraordinaire. 
We salute you. We salute you, Smokey. <laughs> we also want to give a happy birthday to the boy Seal, right? Shout yeah, out to boy yeah. Seal. Uh, one time, no way. Shout out to boy Seal. Um, kiss from a rose, right? That yeah. was my joint, though, back in the day, though. Way um, back. And fly like an eagle, though, yeah, into the future, yeah, though. Shout yeah. out to boy Seal one time, though. That yeah, was my yeah. best, though. Um, yeah. And then a happy related to the boy, uh, the great. Um, Michael Jordan, yeah. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Um, yeah. His birthday was a couple of days ago on the 17th, though. So we just wanted to salute Michael Jordan. Uh, we also want to give a special happy birthday to everybody's birthday we missed, right? In between. Yeah. Um, yeah. Salute Definitely. to everybody. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day, a great month, a great year. Um, and that, that's yeah, all yeah, for, yeah. for my Black History Facts. Right, we're, right. keeping it, we're keeping it short and sweet. So. Um, now we're moving right along, right? So now we're at our final stage, your favorite part of the show, <laughs> yep, yep, which yep. is our world famous game of Would, Would You, you rather? rather? You know, so shout out to that. So, you got some questions for Oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, okay. So, um, my question for you is What is your favorite food? Like, what's your favorite food? Like, what's your favorite food? What would you choose? Would you rather Cajun or Creole food? Ah, whoo, that's a good question. I have uh, some glass <laughs> right. Cajun or Creole, man, that's and that's why I, I appreciate that breakdown and I applaud that breakdown because oh, that was thanks, very thanks, pivotal in um, helping me make this decision because when I think about certain items and I think about yeah. what's included with the items and the ingredients, and I'm like, oh, this has this, this has this, this has that, this has that, this has this, this has that, this has this, this has that. Hey, hey somebody drop so a beat. Like, hey, tip attack, tip attack. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to go, I want some, if I had to like, create a plate, I would have like a little Creole gumbo, mm -hmm. right? With a little plate of blackened fish. <laughs> Cajun blackened fish over some little Spanish rice. Oh, know? but now so you're picking both. You got to pick one. All right, then I'm going to go Creole. All right, all right. All I right. applaud that. I applaud that. All right, all right. Cool. Creole got to at your too. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, got it. Yeah. They do have a few. Um, I think it's a little bit more expensive, but they do have more of like the liquidy, more yeah, um, yeah more saucy, saucy, and that yeah, kind of more yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, so it depends on if you like more the dry or the wet. Right, type, right, type. right. So it depends on it depends on what it is. So next question: <laughs> Would like? you rather, in in, in honor mm. of our next level chef recap? Okay. Would you rather be Team Gordon Ramsay? Mm hmm. Team Blaze mm -hmm. or Team Naisha? Go. Ah, uh, that one's tough because I like all three of them. I probably would say Blaze is last though. Mm. Blaze is last for sure. My 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 tough part. <laughs> my my tough choice is between Naisha and Gordon Ramsay though. Um, oh. I think Naisha's style of coaching and 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 training and mentorship right is more suitable for my style of execution in the okay. kitchen so i think actually for as much as like i am a born around the fan though and i i have his personality his food like everything right but when it comes down to it like if i had to pick one like i would pick naisha though i think yeah. it would, i think i think i would be a great person for her to coach and I think she would be the perfect person to coach me though. And I can say I'm not surprised by that. You know, I think I think that would be a good pairing also, right? Oh, I okay, think nice. you know Gordon Ramsay would be cool, but you know, I think as far as Naisha, I think you would really be you guys would really click. I think you guys like would like she would really be able to mentor you. Yeah. I think you guys she would look out for you as my man was looking out for Jordan, etc. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah I good shout, answer. shout out to Naisha Harrington. Good, good, good answer. You got another one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um would you rather mashed potatoes or french fries? Oh, I think that one was supposed to be for you, Aww. right? Because that's the easy one for me, French fries. French fries, yeah. Easy. Yeah. I, yeah. What about you? Since um, that was supposed to be for you. <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually, I'm opposite, though. 
I, I love the the ease of a french fry right but something about just the mashed potatoes just the fluffy creamy and i just feel like it's just a more elevated flavorful dish so okay i go with the mash so okay all right so so you want to go next then yeah i'll all go right. next or you go next though because um all right uh <laughs> i guess let's say uh would you rather deep sea dive or skydive Ooh. And I, I, I know you. I don't think. I don't. I don't know. I don't think you would. I don't know if you would even actually do either of them though. Like all I real, hear, real life. All but, I can hear is Trey song. Oh, I'm about to die, man. <laughs> hey, I'm like man. So where you gonna hold your breath? Oh my god. <laughs> um. Ooh. Skydive or deep sea dive? Then that's risk. Either both of them is risky. How yeah. deep? How deep is the deep sea dive though? As deep as it needs to be for you to make a choice. Oh no, but it's it's. I know that you're not one to like risk your life for a thrill, you know. So it's like so that's why, that's why, I'm like, so that, that's why okay. it's like it's a crazy question to ask yeah. you because it's like if you if you had to pick though. Yeah, I'm like man, I don't really necessarily want to have to go down too deep. I don't know where the sharks should get that what level of the sharks. But if you at. deep sea dive, do you necessarily have to go deep deep or is it just diving at a deep point? Like in the middle of the ocean, so the water oh, is yeah. deep, so you, you're not necessarily going, you know, super so low. So it's like, but... so it's like, you know, when when niggas, out, I mean, when cats is out there <laughs> taking the uh, sink on sink to the whatever though, and they just jump in the water. Is that deep sea dive or is it diving deep, diving deep in the sea? That's a good question. We might have to revisit That's that. That's a little too poetic though. But for the <laughs> sake of this, I'll wrap it up. Though I say. Um, Deep sea dive because I'm so wavy <laughs> and I am Chef C. This is Chef, Chef Benny. Benny. This was episode 13, 13, and we appreciate you guys. This is What's Cooking with Fanny Boo, and we are out. We appreciate you guys rocking with us, kicking <laughs> with us, uh, sipping with us, though, enjoying yeah, with us, laughing yeah. with us. Drop in the comments what you guys think. Let us know what you guys want to hear about on yep. the next episode. We've been trying to give you guys tidbits, helpful facts, and information. Yeah. So, um, again, don't forget to tell a friend, and 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 don't forget to tell a friend. Then once you tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend again. I like that one, though. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Let's that one time. We're going to have to chop that up, though. So, yeah. So, again, appreciate you guys tuning in, man. We out of here, though. All right. Peace, Peace, love, love positivity. positivity. Yeah.